Hey, this is Spirit Bleach. We're produced here in Silicon Valley. I'm Willie Goat, and we're in the Snow Regional Wilderness. One of my absolute favorite spots. I wanted to talk to you today about my favorite shoe. You, you like shoes too? You don't even need shoes. <laughs> this shoe, when I get asked about people first going out for hikes here in Silicon Valley, or going backpacking for the very first time, what comes to mind for me is my feet. This is human powered travel after all. <laughs> so my shoe, I have two pairs of hiking shoes. I've got my trail runners, comfy shoes that I wear, everyday shoes around the block. And if you're going around the block, if you're going nine or 10 miles, your shoes are what are gonna keep your feet comfy. The other pair of shoes I have, that's right. Thanks, Pepper. Are you my assistant? <laughs> These La Sportivas, <laughs> these are great shoes. These are hiking shoes. And even though there's a lot of trends around getting trail runners and sneakers, these La Sportivas I got four years ago, I've worn them for a lot of hikes, <sighs> many, many hundreds of miles and I've never gotten a blister. My feet have been very happy. Uh, the reason I got these four years ago was because the Sierra Club outing I was going on recommended something that had heel support, ankle support, because it was gonna be a long trip. It was gonna be six nights out in the backcountry, um, carrying a lot. So there wasn't really an option to go ultralight with what we were carrying going super light on the weight. We had to carry a lot. It was a big group and there were group items called commissary. So this were huge bear cans of food, big bottles of fuel, which like I had to carry. Uh, so those were shared things that people had to carry and you needed a big backpack. So because you had a big backpack and because we were going for such a long time and because it was off trail for parts of it on large rock, this classic large talus rock, big broken rock. It was like, go get some shoes that had some ankle support. Uh, now these are 11 and a half because that's my foot size. I got them before that big trip and I wore them a lot on a bunch of local hiking trails and other training backpacking trips. And so this was super comfy. Um, there's a lot of things that go into the shoe. And if you are, you know, like me, thinking a lot about sustainability and not buying stuff if you don't have to. The best hiking shoe for you might be just the shoes you have around your house that are comfortable, that keep you, your feet happy, and then maybe have some good grip if you're going over any uneven terrain. Um, but I need to buy a new shoe and a lot of the shoes you're gonna get, if you're gonna get something, <clears throat> aren't gonna be used. Sustainability wise, used gear is probably the best way to go. But what goes into the shoe also can matter. You've got the sole piece of it, the very bottom here. Uh, you've got the uppers. So this whole section above the sole <clears throat> is the upper material. You've got your laces and the aglets. <laughs> These aglets are the little plastic caps. Um, but they're now being made out of other materials too. So that's really cool to see what goes into making these things. Some companies use wood pulp, others reclaim plastic bottles that are in the ocean and repurpose them for things like this. Really, really cool. Some entire shoes are made out of recycled material, upcycled material. Uh, and then the front part of here where the toes go, the toe box, and this is all shaped around a last. So the last goes into the shoe as they're manufacturing, designing it. So the last have only certain number of shapes of foot. That, that's what's gonna go into what types of shoes feel comfortable for your feet. But now there are some new companies looking at making shoes in different ways. Some using robots, but other things that give you a lot more options as a shoemaker to make different types of shoes that fit different types of feet. So that's gonna be great. Means you won't be returning shoes. So for me, this is, this is the 11 and a half, super comfortable. <clears throat> and the only other thing that I got at that time was this insole, because I had read a lot that the insoles can make a big difference on your comfort when you're carrying a lot of weight and you're hiking a long time. So these are oboes, 
and I did a bunch of research. These were really highly rated and I love them. Even if I'm going on day hikes for more than five miles, I will switch these around in my shoes. And the other thing I did during that Sierra Club outing I got made fun of because I took my shoes off all the time. So if I was stopping like this for a break, I would then take off my shoes. And if I stopped for a longer break, I would also take off my socks and I would just leave them on top of my shoe and let them dry out. Blisters happen when you have moisture and friction. So, so if I let my feet dry and my socks dry, I reduce that moisture. Moleskin is also really good. Moleskin is like a band-aid type material that comes in pre-cut shapes or you can cut yourself. And if you notice a hot spot or a spot on your foot or toes that's starting to feel uncomfortable, be proactive. Take off your shoes and your socks, put on some moleskin padding and that will prevent those blisters. So that's, um, man, I love these shoes. Had them for four years, never had a blister, La Sportiva's not sponsored highly recommend um so i have these these are my favorite shoes and i'm glad i got to share that with you today what do you think pepper yeah hopefully they last a lot longer too